Obviously, hindsight is always 2020. But no one could have seen what was coming next. When the year began, it started off like any other. But then it became a perfect storm. The entire world was caught off guard. Life as we know it was about to change. And there was no turning back. COVID-19 forced us to look at the world in a whole different light. We started social distancing ourselves from our families, our friends, our loved ones. For many people, this turned into a life of boredom, loneliness, and despair with nothing but uncertainty in a time of crisis. Quarantine meant self-isolation and mandatory curfews. Some people described it like being locked up in a maximum security prison. People's temperaments started to rage. Domestic disputes were on the rise. And this was all a result of cabin fever. This health and humanitarian crisis caused industries to feel the pressure. More people started losing their jobs, their businesses, and their way of life. Federal legislation started mandating changes in unemployment insurance, benefits, and paid leave. They even made provisions for economic stimulus by distributing checks. But that was not enough. Mental health was now a primary focus, especially for those already suffering from mental illness and drug abuse. This pandemic might have changed a whole lot of things, but I've learned to adjust. I mean, I don't know what people are complaining about. Spending more time with your family is a good thing, right? Ain't nothing wrong with that. And getting out for a good drive doesn't hurt.
get back. Daddy? Hey. Was that you who just pulled up? Yeah, that's me. Oh, okay. I was just trying to make sure. Uh-huh. I'm just watching some TV right now. You ready for our next lesson? I guess, if you are. Okay. I'll be right in. Okay. See you in a bit. All right. Bye. Well, I guess it's back to business as usual. But for my daughter, this has turned out to be a nightmare. If we really want to get back to normal, a coronavirus vaccine is the holy grail. There are more than 100 different groups working on a vaccine. 27,806 have now died in the tri-state. Certain voices, some of them quite prominent, pushing to just reopen the country, want to pretend as if the coronavirus just does not exist. <laughs> now all she can think about is going outside, hanging out at her favorite location, down by the river. She says she missed breathing the fresh air and then enjoying the scenery. Yeah, I get it. I totally get it. She loves checking out the locals drifting in their boats as if they had nothing better to do. Hmm. And she just loves staring at the beautiful landscapes, beautiful sky, calm waters, all God's handiwork. Even misses fighting off those pesky mosquitoes and feeling the heat of the sun's rays on her face. Yeah, I get it. But the powers that be is just trying to make us all think that we need to be locked up in our homes indefinitely. Well, that devil is a liar. 